Hmm. Hi guys, in this series of videos we're looking at motorcycle maintenance. Now, I'm no mechanic, I'm just a guy who's giving it a try. So, um, <clears throat> you know, take what I say with a pinch of salt, I'm just videoing how I maintain my motorcycle. Now, I know there's some guys who don't service their bikes. You know, they put them into a garage. I don't service my car. Once or twice a year, it goes into the garage. It has a full service, oil change, blah, 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 blah. I don't touch it. I like playing around with the bike. So I do service, mm, well, with the Honda CB F125, you are supposed to do a service every 2,500 miles. It's been 4,000 miles since I last looked at the engine, air filter, spark plug, fuel filter. Um, so I'm a bit behind, um, but we've not had the weather. It has been absolutely freezing, um, like 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit, rain, overcast. It's been horrible. And I've got no heating in the garage. So today's a little bit warmer. So the first one in this series is air filter. Let's go to the garage and we pick this up when I've got the air filter and I've got the bike set up. Okay, <laughs> see you out there. Right, so we're now in the garage. Uh, I've got the bike here. Uh, these are really simple maintenance techniques and on the Honda CBF125 you should do a service every 2,500 miles. I've been a bit lax, it's actually been 4,000 miles. So this series of videos, like I said, is going to be um, basically a major service. So one of the easiest things to replace is the air filter. Um, good. If it gets blocked, your bike can't breathe, you lose power, you lose fuel economy, and I'll say, it's easy to do. So right, let's get into it. I'm gonna swing you guys round. First thing, put e-cig somewhere safe. I think I'm gonna have to bring you down a bit. <clears throat> no, no, you can see there. So right, I've got my tank bags on the back. I'm just gonna remove these. And oh, my tank bags fit on with a bungee strap there. Just unclip it and one there. Oh, same on the other side. And then I can lift my bag straight off. I have to bring you guys down a bit. Ooh. Oh, sorry, dog is here. So, right, keys. First thing we need to do is take off the passenger seat, which is there. It's a bit hard because I've got my um, mountain bracket for the top box and it, it catches on the top. But right, now what I'm going to do is swing you guys around so you can, because you want to see what's in here. Because the air breather, air filter, is there. So right. I'll stop this or it's all going to juggle around and we come back to it. Okay, we're back. Uh, oh, there you are. Right, so we have to remove the seat. And the seat is fitted or secured with two bolts. And they are... That's a six. It's not a six. Ten. Ten looks good.
I have pre-loosened these. One. Two. And now the... So now the seat should just lift out. Well, hang. Let's see if I can bring you guys over a bit closer. No, that's even worse. Get some light on it, right. We have a rubber air intake. And it looks like, oh, it's not fixed by anything, so you can just get that and pull that straight out of the way. We're now left with yeah, four screws. We've got um, I think that's the best I can do. We've got two screws here, and then you've got to try and get down the side of the tank here for the other two screws. So I'll do these four screws, and I'll bring you back, and you can see what it looks like inside. Because it's a bit of a it's a bit of a bugger to get off. So you've got to keep wiggling it. I'll be back. <coughs> oh, where are you? <coughs> Oh, there you are, I'm just about to see me. Oh. So it just put my hand over the camera lens, rookie mistake. Right, I've got all four um, screws undone. I had to go and get a tool, I just couldn't see the ones either side the tank. Even with all the lights I've got on for filming, I couldn't see it. So let's get back into it and we're removing the plastic cover from the air filter. Right, so that's where the air goes in, two fingers in, thumb on the top and pull it that way and it comes straight out. Now this, that is the air filter and it should just lift out. Actually that's, that isn't bad. Considering it's done 4,000 miles and I haven't touched it, it isn't that bad. In fact, if I didn't have a new one, I would probably, um, there we go, you can see old, new. Yeah, there's, actually there's very little dirt in that air filter, but we've got a new one, so it literally just, um, oh yeah, uh, on the top of the air filter you have this bulge ridge, and it goes in that way, so that faces towards the tank, because there's a little slot that that goes in. And it literally just drops in now. That is it. Um, this, again, that's where the air goes in. Two fingers in there, one on there to hold it, and it should, famous last words, drop straight in place. So now, do up the four securing screws. Gonna need the torch to see these ones. And one on that side.
Mm. That's it for that part. You have this thing that goes back over the top of it. It is literally just a rubber um, protection. And it goes, that curve goes against the curve of your, that's actually the rear mud guard. Does it? Or does it go that way? No, it doesn't. Hang on. No, it must go that way. Because these go, these holes there go over the two. I'm getting into a this goes on there see this is why I do this so you guys don't have to faff around like I do I suppose I could always stop the video and then go back and watch to see how I got this out in the first place You know what, I think I'm going to have to watch the first part of the video. I cannot remember how I got that out. Oh, hang on. <sighs> Doing it wrong. Two lugs and two lugs. So, duh. See, I've not done this for 4,000 moles and I've forgotten. Secure on the two lugs. This then goes over over the two screws. And I guess it goes in like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh we got there in the end I just couldn't remember which way round that went so right air filter done plastic bit back on top we can now get the seat back on which has got two, these two little plastic lugs that oh, you can't see you're at the wrong angle which clip underneath the tank so literally under the tank <coughs> push forward stick it down and always got the wrong tool on the one bolt in there one bolt in there Spin them up. Job done. Oh, underneath here, little pocket where I keep all my tools. And there's enough tools in there to do most things on the bike when I'm out. I'll do another video on, um, yeah, you fell over. I will do another video on a motorcycle worm 
tool set but you only really need to carry what you need for your bike there's no point carrying a full set of spanners if you only need a 13 and a 12 right let's get this rear seat clipped in job done and that's it this is how not to change the air filter on a CBF 125 and do a YouTube video about it do it first find out what you're doing then do the video don't do it on the fly anyway you know me I show you guys warts and all so thanks for watching uh, I was like, there's going to be a series of this, so air filter, um, spark plug, tappets. I've already done tappets one, so if you want to know how to do the tappets, there's a video online. Um, but you can do a, a full service, which includes stripping part of the engine down. So I will show you what gasket sets you need. Um, I should put a link in where I've got them from the other places are available you know um, I may have paid too much you might be able to get them cheaper but we'll see right air filter done catch you on the next one Mike out bye